Hi everyone. So we all know that marijuana can be used for recreational purposes and I know some of you watching have probably used it for that reason but we're here to, to discuss some of the possible other reasons why we can use it especially for its ability to relieve pain. So you might be asking what is pain? Well pain is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage or described in terms of such damage. This figure outlines the major neuroanatomical structures that differentiate nociception and pain. Nociception refers to the process through which information about peripheral stimuli is transmitted by primary afferent nociceptors to the spinal cord, brainstem, thalamus and subcortical structures. In contrast, the experience of pain can result only when there is activity of thalamocortical networks represented in the dark shaded box at the top. That process the information conveyed by pathways of nociception. So now that we know how we perceive pain, let's find out if this statement here is really true and how marijuana works in relieving pain. To begin, let's introduce the endocannabinoid system. This system composes the cannabinoid receptors CB1 and CB2. In addition, we have our own endogenous cannabinoids in our bodies. Five examples of these are shown here and you can see how similar in structure they are to one another. A response is then elicited when these cannabinoids bind to the receptors. It may surprise you that the cells containing the cannabinoid receptors are abundant throughout the body. CB1 receptors are present in copious amounts in neuronal cells of many parts of the brain such as the amygdala, hippocampus and free prefrontal cortex. For example, CB2 receptors on the other hand are found in several types of inflammatory non-neuronal cells. But what has this got to do with pain and analgesia? Well this image should make it clear. As it can be seen, the CB1 receptors are present in cells that are involved in pain conduction pathways as well as pain perception which we talked about at the beginning of this presentation. Furthermore, CB2 receptors are found in several types of inflammatory non-neuronal cells and we all know that inflammation in general means uh, pain, is that right? Where does marijuana fit into all of this you may ask? Well let me explain. Tetrahydrocannabinol or THC found in marijuana binds perfectly to cannabinoid receptors in our body just like our own endogenous cannabinoids. So let's explore how it causes analgesia. Once inside our body THC binds to CB1 receptors on the cell membrane of various neuronal cells along the pain conduction pathway. This in turn alters the conductance of calcium, potassium and sodium channels. As a result, neuronal excitability is reduced. As mentioned before, CB1 receptors are found in all areas of, of the pain conduction pathway. On the other hand, when THC binds to CB2 receptors, the release of pro inflammatory factors by non-neuronal cells located near nociceptor neuron terminals is inhibited which promotes analgesia. So there you have it. We now know how marijuana relieves pain. Let's find out how it works together with other analgesics. Synergy between drugs is a lot more common than you may think. For example, a combination of simple analgesics can be used to enhance the effects of stronger analgesics in order to reduce drug dependence and drug addiction. Narcotic analgesics work by binding to opioid receptors and then activating potassium channels and blocking calcium channels to which the overall effect is reducing neuronal excitation and hence produce analgesia. Similar to compound analgesics, there is synergy between adrenergic agonists and opioids. For example, the combination therapy used in mediating spinal analgesia is achieved through the use of alpha 2A agonists with opioids. As a result, patients will receive higher analgesic effects of the opioids while obtaining a lower opioid dose and hence less side effects. This becomes important in treating patients with opioid insensitive pain states. Now for the cannabinoid opioid synergy, well this is similar to the synergistic effect of opioids with alpha 2A agonists, there is synergy between cannabinoids and opioids. Cannabinoids seem to strengthen the effects of opioids more so than other analgesics. 
THC mediates analgesic effects through delta and kappa opioid receptors. In doing so, it enhances the potency of opioids and patients can obtain pain re relief and reduced addictive effects of the opioids when it's taken in combination with THC.